you must tell your urges towards pornography that you are not going back. You see, whenever you are getting away from pornography or have been away from it, the urges from time to time will come back and hit. And you see, one thing you got to understand about that is this. Whatever you choose and decide is best in that moment, that's what you're going to give in to. You see, one thing the devil going to do is he going to come back around to try to tempt you with whatever you once struggled with. And in this case, it's with pornography. You see, the Bible say, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You got to resist them urges of their pornography. Nobody ever said that when you quit porn, that all of a sudden, every urge was just going to be gone. It's still going to be times where the devil will try to put a sexual imagination in your head about what you once seen on the screen or even a sexual flashback of what you done did sexually with somebody else and an urge to watch pornography will come. You see, there's been many times along this lifestyle that I've been living of staying away from porn that urges still have tried to hit. And from time to time, they still try to come. And you know what I do? I always remember what's best. You see, you got to remember right there in that moment that you know you're going to regret what you are doing if you watch this pornography. You see, I sit there and I don't really fight with the urge. What I do is I immediately shut down the urge. I tell her that I'm not going to do that and I'm not going back because I know it's not worth it. I done got to the point where I'm willing to even get a flip phone if I have to to get rid of these urges. That's how extreme I done got with staying away from pornography. I got a touch screen phone, but before I get back on high speed internet porn, I will go to a flip phone and whoever in my context is just in it. That's how serious I am about this. And ever since I got to that mindset and I stuck to that, it's like this porn has no heavy strength against me. Of course I urge to come, of course an imagination to try to come. But one thing I do not do is let it get the best of me. And what you got to do is the same thing. You got to tell these urges, no, I'm not going back. You got to tell them, I'm not going back to that vomit. I'm not going back to that porn. I'm not going back to that filthiness, that shame and regret that I done felt. I don't care if you've been on the street for one day. I don't care if it's been one day and that urge come on day two. You still got to tell them, I'm not going back. If you on one day, you had a mindset like you've been on it for a hundred days or a thousand days. Say it's just been one day, but hey, I'm not going back. I don't care if it's been one week, it's been one month, whatever it's been. Tell them urges no. Tell the devil no. Tell that shame and get regret that you're going to feel later if you was to watch it no. That you don't want it no more and you don't need it no more. It's not a part of your life. It's not something that you need in your life. And you always got to remember that. Because when you was trying to quit it, what was your goal? To stay away from it. So when the urge hit, I always remember your goal is stay away from it. And that's what I do. And there's so many reasons to stay away from it. It's so many negative effects and so many things that have you knowing that you need to stay away from it. So I always tell them urges, no, I'm never, ever going back. They'll try to hit. They'll try to come. The devil will try to tempt. Even the thoughts and imaginations will come. But tell them no. Gain that strength through God. Submit to God. Submit to his words. Submit to them scriptures. Submit to the things of God and the spirit of God and appear in positive things, the holy things, not this negative stuff. Because the moment of you bow down and submit to these urges, ain't nothing but trouble coming. You've been good for six months, then guess what? If you mess up after those six months, you're going to feel every pain as if you've been struggling for six months. Stay away from the urge and kill the urge. Make sure that urge can't get the best of you. I always tell her what you will not do, and I always show her what you're not going to do. Keep yourself out of a position to fall and keep your mind right. And always keep God in your spirit, mind, and heart. Because these urges don't rule you, remember. It's just an urge, it's just an emotion. Let it pass through, and don't let it get the best of you. Tell it no. I pray this video is blessed, and I pray you like, subscribe, and comment. Be blessed.